Good morning, guys. I'm praying that the one who needs to find this will find it at the right time. Something dropped off our shoulders, you guys. I feel it. So this morning I woke up with some regained peace, some regained assurance inside of me that everything is working out and that right now everything feels hectic and confusing and chaotic because we all know that what God promised us is about to become our reality and that everything we were dreaming about manifesting for so many years will suddenly actually manifest and that's because we all went through years of years of healing and facing ourselves and dealing with the uncomfortable and just allowing ourselves to be human because before I mean probably you can relate to that a lot of us are or have been perfectionists we were so obsessed with always being received and seen as perfect and it takes a lot of courage and I would say also faith to honestly authentically and truly be yourself because this world can be so scary especially if our minds get activated in a way that it makes us feel really small and really anxious and really worthless they say it all comes from childhood which is probably true but also i mean when we grow up a lot of stuff happens right and i think that without faith and without the belief that everything that your heart feels and desires can become true this world is a dark place so if you struggle with your faith know that this is the true way to fulfillment and satisfaction and happiness and peace definitely peace but i also want to tell you that it's completely normal that the journey doesn't look that peaceful and that the journey doesn't look that aligned all the time and wise all the time because at least from my experience alignment doesn't always equal easiness or happiness at all the time because i mean come on let's be honest when we are dealing with our deepest selves and not focusing on our passion and strength which elevates those positive emotions and the fire in our soul but when we're having a conversation with ourselves and we're like okay why am i behaving like this in a certain situation where's the trigger truly coming from and then we pray for guidance and clarity and then everything comes back to us suddenly in a memory flash or in a dream or we just i don't know remember stuff when we start working on healing it because I feel like this year was a year of doing that and right now it feels like we are throwing that blanket off our shoulders and 2025 will be so much more carefree and joyful and I feel that sometimes we think we are so high in life and looking back on those years when we thought we are high very often we were actually not we were in this i don't know illusion that we are high but we were just ignoring or being unaware of the traumas we're still carrying sure it's a lifelong process but i don't know i just sometimes look back and then i'm also looking around and i'm like but often like those states of highness they were not real if they were not rooted in faith in god if it's rooted then I believe it's real because then this energy is coming from God <sighs> yes so that's what I'm feeling I feel very peaceful today also I don't know where I'm living right now it's like super foggy and cloudy and rainy and it's supposed to be like this for today and tomorrow and I always feel that when the rain falls something is washing away from me as well I don't know if you can resonate with it but yeah, tonight I slept a little better. I'm still having a headache. I have a headache for days on end. And I was thinking if it's maybe the caffeine, maybe we should reuse caffeine. 
but I'm not sure. I drink two coffees a day if it's really that. I mean, I didn't change a thing, right? So I'm doing exactly what I was doing before and suddenly have a headache. Uh, so maybe it's just me thinking too much or distracting myself too much because I was also... Sorry, mosquito bit me here. <laughs> I was also very like searching for signs the last couple of days and just i don't know scrolling through social media so much which i usually don't do but it was like i was so restless i couldn't stop myself and i know that the way out is meditation and connecting to god and but i don't know sometimes i also feel like i need to follow my impulses a bit because sometimes when i do something maybe i don't know stupid or not necessarily necessary or i don't know productive sometimes it leads me to a complete different perspective and to complete new thoughts yeah plane passing by why i say that mm. so i think it's also very important to just allow yourself to drift off a little here and there like you know especially if you're in this limbo state we always think that only the logical way of i don't know discipline and stuff like that will lead us to a realization or clarity but for me sometimes it's not like I find clarity in the most confusing moments and times and looking back it's really I don't know it's like I don't find it in the logical way you know and very often I feel this pressure from society that I need to constantly be productive and logical but I don't believe that life or human beings are logical beings like that seems really weird <laughs> how can how can spirit be logical you know i mean everything makes perfect sense in itself and as a whole but i think if we try to be logical i mean it leads us i don't know nowhere at least not to our highest selves that's why i also stopped reading all these like self-improvement books which are not really helping you to reconnect to yourself, you know, but just giving you like this example of how someone else lived his or her life, which can be, of course, inspiring if you're seeking courage and if you're not sure if you are meant for something like this. But I believe that, I don't know, it's still rooted in like maybe comparison also. And that makes no sense because, I mean, we all know, for example, technically from where I am right now, there is an infinite... There are infinite possibilities of getting from here to, I don't know, Italy <laughs> or New York. Like, there's so many different ways how to get there from so many, like, with so many different things. But, yeah, and I don't know. I just feel like it can also make, make you really doubt yourself that something is wrong with you and how you do things. Because you see how other people do it in a logical way. And if you're not a logical person like me, mm, then it's not really helpful. And I believe it's okay to not be logical, you know. And uh, I mean, I'm married to a Capricorn who has five more Capricorns in his chart. <laughs> and I'm an Aquarius <laughs> having five of my planets in my fifth house. So <laughs> it is interesting here. And I really had to learn to trust my own instincts because we could not be any more different, yet somehow we are aligned and on the same journey. Um, but it's really, it's really interesting to just realize you're perfect the way you are and whatever you feel drawn to, whatever interests you, it's because it's for you, you know? And I don't know, don't compare yourself with any other way. Just walk your path courageously, grounded in faith, pray and believe that everything that you have and all the experiences you went through at one point in life they will make sense i believe that i mean i'm still looking back on my life and there are so many years i'm like but for what like what was the reason and everything but i believe that at one point eventually it will all make sense and even if it doesn't make any sense it build a character it was always worth it for something now i'm out of breath <laughs> sometimes i forget how exhausting it is to talk and breathe at the same time <laughs> um but yeah so whoever is watching this i know the pace was a little slower today but some of that's the energy i have a feeling today and tomorrow will be just very quiet slow days like reading getting cozy lighting up candles and i don't know just letting it be you know and not forcing not pushing just i don't know recharging so if you feel like that 
it's okay to recharge girl or boy you don't have to feel guilty for it um yeah god bless you and i wish you a good day bye bye